Hi, okay, today I'm going to teach you how to use Google Drawings to upload a photo, to place a grid over it, and then to draw from that grid onto a piece of paper. All right, so to start, we need to look for something to draw. So I'm just going to find a simple little um, object. Dear drawing of a, we're going to go with a bottle. Okay, so I'm looking for a drawing of a bottle, not too simple. Okay, let's challenge ourselves a little bit, but we also don't want this to take hours on end. I like this one. So we got a little happy medium there. So I'm going to take this drawing that I have and I'm going to save it to my desktop. Um, I don't know if you're able to save something to your desktop, your drive, but of course you need to save that image somewhere and you have to know where you put it. Okay, I probably should have renamed it. Let's do that. Let's, let's do it the right way. Save image as, we're going to call it bottle for art class. And I'm going to save it to my desktop because that's what I like to use. You may have to put it in drive, like I said. Okay, so I've got that image. And now I have to go to my desktop and find the guy. There he is, bottle for art. So there is my drawing. It's sitting there on my desktop. Okay, I need to go into now my Google Drive. Okay, if you don't know how to get to it, um, I open a new tab. I open Drive. I've got a lot of stuff in my Drive. And I'm going to go over to New. And I'm going to click on more because I am looking for what's called Google Drawings. That's this red square here, okay? And I'm clicking on Google Drawings. So now, what I'm going to do with Google Drawing is I'm going to insert my image that I saved from my computer. There's my bottle. All right, I'm going to make him a little bit bigger. There we go. All right, now what's cool about drawing, this is what you have to look at closely, is the inches. See this ruler across the top? One, two, three, four, five. Mine goes all the way to nine. I'm assuming that's 10. And then on the side here, it goes all the way down to seven and it looks like seven and a half. So my screen is seven by 10. My image here is six, six inches by approximately seven and a half. So I am gonna take a grid and I'm gonna put a grid over this and I wanted to keep it in inches, you know, to keep my math simple, that is six by seven. So I'm going to insert, and I'm gonna insert a table. So it needs to be six. Do you see the little ruler down there at the bottom, right here? <laughs> I can't point on it. Okay, six by seven. So now I have a grid that is six by seven. I need to take the little corners here and stretch it to end on my six and on my seven down there, okay? Now I have a perfect one inch grid on top of my image, all right? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna minimize this so that you can see my camera. Hang on a minute. I need to minimize draw, okay? And I'm gonna put my drawing right here over to the side of what I'm gonna draw over here. So here now I have a piece of drawing paper. Okay, not lined paper, drawing paper underneath my camera. I have a ruler just because I happen to own one. You can go up to Dollar Tree and get one um, for a dollar. doesn't matter what your ruler looks like. You can use it specifically for this. And you've got one all the way to seven. Um, mine goes to 12. I have a 12 inch ruler. We did give you a piece of cardboard, but I'm not promising you that it's cut straight. We kind of took um, a piece of cardboard on the paper cutter and just went hack, hack, hack to give you a straight edge. It worked great for perspective, but not necessarily for grid drawing if this width is not even, okay, across. So in other words, here at the top, let's see if mine even is. Mine is an inch, okay, and at the bottom is a little short of an inch. Yours might be way off. It might be an inch and then like an inch and a half. And maybe you could even tell by looking at it. If it looks straight, go ahead and use it, all right? If you can, take a pair of scissors and trim it. Again, to make it as straight as possible, go ahead and do it. You could eyeball it. Or go to Dollar Tree, even better, and get yourself a ruler, okay? Now, I am not using the width of my ruler. I'm going to show you two different ways to do this. The width of this ruler is not an inch. This is an inch and something, okay? So the best way to do it using a ruler, if you look at our grid over here, it is six inches across. So on this paper over here, I'm gonna grid my paper six inches across. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And now I'm going to connect my dots. Let me zoom in a little bit. And now I'm going to connect them. I'm messing with the camera. Lighting. Oh, I think that's worse. I'm trying to get it where you can see the pencil lines that I've got here. Okay. So now I'm going to connect these to make my line straight. Because if I just draw them at the top and not at the bottom, I will not have straight lines. Four, five, and six. Okay? So now I have six. Now going down, I need seven squares, right? Yep. So going down, sorry, I got two pieces of paper here. I'm going to draw seven squares. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to end at seven. And I'm going to do the same on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Four, five, six, seven. Okay, so now I have a grid that is six inches across and seven inches down. I've got all this on the side I could hack off, okay, and all this on the bottom that I can cut off. Make sense? So to to be even better so that you don't get confused, I'm going to take a pair of scissors and cut it off, okay? Now, what if you don't have a ruler? If you don't have a ruler, you can attempt to use that straight edge. Like I said, no promises on what you're going to get. But this is what you could do, okay? New piece of paper. I could use this. And it will work. You can still do the same assignment. One, two, three, four, five, six. It was seven that direction, correct? Let me let my camera focus. You can see what I've got, okay? Nope, oh, that's worse. We're not going to go with that. Okay, so I've got seven that direction, and we're going to go six this direction. One, two, three, four, five, six. Take my pair of scissors. I'm going to let my camera focus. Come on, camera. That's a little better. And I'm going to cut off the extra. <laughs> Obviously, it's not straight. My cardboard is not straight. You could tell by my paper down here, okay? But it's close enough. All right, look at the difference. The one on the left, I did with a ruler. Perfectly accurate. The one on the right, I did with a piece of cardboard that wasn't cut perfect. It's a little bit bigger. I have no idea what the squares are, but they're still squares. They're like an inch and an eighth by an inch and an eighth. It came out a little bigger, okay? And it's okay. It'll still work. Either one. I'm going to go with my pretty one. Now, what I'm going to do for your assignment is you're going to look over at your drawing or of your image. Let me zoom in. I think you can see better. I'm going to look over at this bottle and I'm going to draw it square by square by square. Okay, so two squares over, three squares over, there's a line here about halfway down that starts the top of this bottle. And then there's a line down here that's just under that grid line. Okay, so I'm going to start with that. One, two, three squares over. Goes from here about there. It is a little rounded. It 
does come over to the side a little bit. It crosses over, over there, and it does go below. So I'm using my grid to draw, okay? Got these two little curve marks, and sure, I can go in here and add this detail work. Okay, little curve there. And then let's move on down from here. We've got these sides. They almost touch the edge. These are the same, obviously. This is a bottle that I chose, so it's pretty symmetrical. I don't know what you're gonna choose, a, a shoe, a tree, um, Try to think of other objects. Inanimate objects are gonna be better than a tree. All those branches would probably drive me crazy. And then I, I do some counting, like one, two, three, three cubes down, the fourth cube down from there. So one, two, three, four, the fourth cube down, I have that little curve, and then I connect these. Okay, do you see how I did that? And then over here on this side, which is one cube over, right about the same spot, and I connect these. Do you see how this starts working? And you're using the grid to draw, okay? Next one down starts to go on a diagonal, and then it crosses over that little bitty triangle right there. Same thing on this side, and it goes right to the corner on that side. So obviously these two sides are gonna be symmetrical, Okay, see what's going on here? I got three squares left, I'm checking my math. One, two, three, and I've got one, two, three. So this should fit, okay? So down here at the bottom somewhere is where I'm gonna have my curve. And then this thing starts to go out. It hits that corner, the corner, and then it goes down all the way to the bottom of that. Okay, what we want you to do all right, is find yourself a picture off the internet, okay, to draw from. You're going to use a grid and draw it, okay? A progress photo, you're gonna hold this picture up, I can't do it on camera, to your monitor, hold your phone so that we can compare that you used a grid. It should be larger so that we knew you drew it, okay, by the grid. I need to go back and fix some of these things up. This isn't quite curved and soft enough for me. Okay, I'm gonna soften that. But we want proof that you drew from the grid and it should be larger, okay? It should not be held up to your monitor and trace through. You are going to draw this. And so you're gonna hold your drawing up to your monitor. That's your progress, okay? The next step, your finished piece, okay? You're gonna take another piece of your drawing paper. I don't know if this is gonna work under the camera. You're gonna hold it on your drawing. I can kind of see it very faintly. You're gonna trace your bottle without the grid, okay? And so you're gonna submit two photos. If you can't see through it on your table, try holding it up to a window so that you get some light. So you're gonna trace, so all I have on here is my bottle drawing, okay? When I'm all said and done. With all the little details, that are in the photograph, you know what I mean? Okay, you're gonna trace it through. So your final product will be that. So photo number one is your progress on your grid, and photo number two is it is traced through. 